Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH. Uh, today we have a Roto 85 FSI for stroke uh, engine, the twin inline. It looks really beautiful. Uh, one thing what I've done, I uh, tried several carburetors and uh, yeah, some of them were better, some of them better top RPM, some of them better mid-range. But the original looks like to work uh, pretty good, so I went back to the original. I also have another one that uh, it works pretty good, so I'm gonna send it to the customer for him to judge it, so I'm not gonna disclose that one, so we'll see what customers thinks about it. Uh, okay, so what I've done, I put it on the uh, CHCDI system, that it's the twin uneven. Okay, so what I've done, okay, so I made a magnet ring, you pull this out, and then you put it in, I have a video on how to do that, okay, and here it's the sensor ring, not sensor ring, the sensor, if I can get it to look at it right, somebody's shooting here around. Nah, that's the, I think that's the, the best I can get it right now. It looks like it doesn't want to stay focused on that. Alright, so anyway, I'm not going to insist too much. So in the uh, ring, it has two magnets, one north and one south. Okay. Okay, so the prop is uh, ZR2410. Idles around 20, oh, sorry. <laughs> Idles around uh, 12, 1300. Um, with one of the carburetors, actually, I got it to, to idle pretty nice, you know, 8, 900. You was able to see the, the props, the prop, you know, how it turned around, but it will not go for the top RPM, so too bad. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, that's pretty much it on this one. So let me turn the ignition on and try to give it a start. I have just a little bit gas here, so this is it. I don't want to run in town to get more. Let me see if I can focus it. Started really, really easy. I don't have the screw for the idle in it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. Hopefully it's gonna stay there until I get to the other <laughs> way around it. It's gonna be like in Tom and Jerry. See which one is catching who. One of the things that I didn't like it was this long spool down, you know, until it gets down to the RPM. I'm not gonna start it. So it looks like uh, once it gets to a high RPM and you stay there and you come down, 
it takes a while until you know goes down to really low idle rpm so that was one of the things what i looked to to get different carburetors so it's pretty much all in the same ballpark i have one that kind of works better but i think what it needs it's a little bit not much just a little bit more a little bit bigger diameter on the venturi so we will it will help with the with the spool down so this is it guys uh, this is the roto 85 fsi four stroke that is running on uh, ch cdi that it's uh, the twin uneven Ah, the heck let's give it one more one more start let's see just the heck all right so let's see who's catching who <laughs> I still have a little bit gas left, so I just want This is what I'm talking about. I'm almost close and it takes a couple of seconds to come down to the idle. So that's what that's what I was talking about. It takes a couple of seconds, three, four seconds to get down to the real low idle RPM. So and no, that is not because of the CDI. CDI doesn't care about that part okay so then again prop 2410 roto 85 fsi for stroke the twin inline i have to give it to roto okay they they make good looking engines so it, it looks good it looks really good i had uh 85 opposite twin one and that one uses the same pretty much setup like this one here so thank you guys for watching and come back for more